Dead are playing at the Sphere, which you know, I've been to, I think this will maybe be my 500th show. John Mayer, I'm, I'm lucky enough, he follows he follows my stuff. I guess he likes it. So John would want to go to the show. And Bob Weir, are you kidding me? I mean, we I now have the same hairdo as you. I got to grow my beard out a little bit more, but I want to go to see the dead backstage. Come on, John, Bob. I'll do deep knee bends with you in the, in the back and we'll swing on our TRX machine. I mean, I'm, I do a good handstand. I can help you with handstands. Dude, come on, hook me up. Backstage, we'll, we'll, do, we'll have fun. I'll do some stupid content and, uh, you know, I, I appreciate, appreciate it. The amount of time and effort and dedication that I've sunk into the Grateful Dead since 1978. I took my 1972 Sportster with my Brazilian girlfriend, Pepu, on the back for, it must have been nine hours, 10, nine, 10 hours, a 1972 Sportster, Harley Davidson, kickstart only. I can't believe we, we made it, we made it in one piece. I mean, it's, it was, it was the, the, the adventure of a lifetime. Gray Maine was at a Speedway, super cool when we finally got there. But you know, it's like, it was like the classic riding from, from New York City and then as we got closer and closer to Maine, more and more vans and buses. And this is back, this is back in the days, this would have been the late 80s. Back in the days when there were way more vans and buses on the road filled with deadheads. And I think my girlfriend, I think she had on the back of my, the helmet was like a skull and roses or something. Maybe, maybe it was like a dancing bear, which I don't really like dancing bears. I'm like the deadhead that doesn't wear any deadhead, tie-dyed, Never. I've never had tie-dyed. I had one time a Grateful Dead shirt that had a rose that some some deadhead was, was selling in the parking lot, and I thought, no, that's cool. It's just very nondescript. I mean, speaking of which, I took my Maserati Levante, okay? I said it. And But I took I took the hood ornament off, and I put the, the album cover Blues for Allah, which I actually had on my jacket, my jean jacket in high school in the 70s. It's a skeleton with a red robe playing, playing the fiddle. Super cool, I think. People walk by my car at a red light in the city and they'll look at it like, they double take like, what kind of car is that? Well, that's a weird uh, hood emblem. I've never seen that before. But I just kind of to want to dress down the flashy, the flashiness of it, which is how I kind of, I think, like to live. You know, it's like I, I recently said in a, my Broken Shed Vodka ad that I like to live large, but simply, simply large, which I think is true. So I like, you know, I like nice, but I, I don't want to be flashy with it. So John, I want to go to the show to see the dead backstage. Come on, John, Bob, hook me up. 